Oh, the weather outside is frightful, and God, it's so dreadful. Please let it stop. Let it stop, let it stop, let it stop. Trying to be musical? Don't think that worked out too well. I probably should stay with my day job. Probably should stay with my day job. Drats! Hello Millennials! Welcome back to another Tuesday and this week we are discussing musicals. Like Kay, I really can't discuss them all that much and it's not because I haven't really seen any, it's just they don't stick with me as well as other forms of entertainment. With particular anime series or television shows, I can go into an entire scene because I just recall them so well and I thoroughly enjoyed them and they just stayed with me. With musicals, that's not generally the case. I'm engrossed in the performance as it's going on, I'm really into it, I'm enjoying myself, and then I'll remember it for a day or so and then it kind of just fades away. So musicals don't stay with me as well as other forms of entertainment, but that doesn't mean I don't like them. I have seen quite a few in my time. I'm lucky to be in a location where I can go to many different kinds of locations where I can see musicals pretty easily. Uh, I could go to the city and go to Broadway, but personally, I can't stand the city. I hate going down there. It's just crazy, hectic, and let me tell you, you have to have nerves of steel to drive in the city. It's just, don't do it. Don't ever do it. So I have a more local dinner theater that gives me a more intimate kind of experience, but you still get that Broadway feel. So I absolutely love that, and it's great when I get to go. I've seen shows like Rent, Grease, Happy Days, Singing in the Rain. I've also seen The Nutcracker, not at that particular place, but other where, other places. So I have seen quite a few musicals. Um, don't really recall too much about them. Again, I enjoyed them, but like I said, they kind of just fade away over time. The two musicals that I can say for certain stay with me and I thoroughly enjoyed, one being West Side Story. If you ever get the opportunity to either watch it on television or actually see it in person, you really should probably check it out because it, it really is a great story. I mean, you have these two gangs that absolutely hate each other, but in the process of all this violence and hatred and everything, you have these two people who end up falling in love for each other, who belong to opposite sides of this conflict. So it's like a Romeo and, Ju Romeo and Juliet story in modern times, and I absolutely love that. It, it, it was just really, really great musical, and I enjoy that, and I did see it um, also at my dinner theater. Again, fantastic. So that was one that I really thoroughly enjoyed, and I have seen it multiple times. It's just, again, very hard to remember things. But the one that I could tell you with absolute certainty will always remain my absolute favorite. I watch it every year, like clockwork, on the 4th of July, just because it fits and it's tradition and I absolutely love it. 1776. The best musical of all time. I don't care what anyone says. I really enjoy this musical. I've seen it like I don't even know. Over 27 times. Over 27 times. Anyone says one line from this musical, any of the songs, I will just start and just go. Go through the whole entire song all by myself because I've seen it so many freaking times. I absolutely love it. And you know, it, it changes your kind of impression of certain historical characters. For instance, William Daniels, who plays John Adams, Nailed it. He hit it out of the park. The finesse, everything about his performance, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And every time I think of John Adams, I think of William Daniels. I know that's not his, how his story really portrays John Adams, but I can't help but picture John Adams like that. Because he just did it so brilliantly, and I just love how he created 
that interpretation of that of that character. Same thing with uh, Benjamin Franklin. I, re I really love what was his name? Howard D. Sylvia. Uh, I love I love his representation of Benjamin Franklin. It's just. I just love it. It was so spot on. Every single person who was part of this musical, absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I never get tired of it. I never get tired of it. It, again, is part of my favorite period of history. I love the American Revolution. It's always been one of my favorites. Uh, secondly, being World War II. Uh, those two points in history have always been my favorite to really get into and this is phenomenal. It really helps you to really get into the vibe and the experience and everything that was going on leading up to July 4th, 1776. Really fantastic. I absolutely loved it. Everything about it, I mean, I, like I said, I can't stop watching it. And if you ever had the chance to do it, to actually see it, you really should because it's great. So those are my thoughts about musicals, pretty short and sweet. Like I said, I do enjoy musicals, but there are very few and far between that actually stick with me. In the moment, I absolutely love it, but then they just fade away. So I don't know what that says about me, but like I said, I do like them. And you know, I wouldn't mind seeing others in the future, it's just I don't generally have the time, which kind of sucks. Um, so anyway. Uh, that's it for me this week. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a very long video from Brit tomorrow. I can pretty much guarantee it. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is it for me this week. I will catch you guys next week. And um, have an awesome day, people. Adios. <laughs>